Dear students and viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I am Isma Jadin welcoming you to this video lecture. Today, today I am going to take the class on chapter 6 of ICT of class 9 and 10. The title of the chapter is Use of Database. In this video, first I will discuss about the concept of database. Then I will show you how to use database using MS Access. Now, what is database? Database is called the storehouse of information. A database is an organized list of voluminous data from where a requisite data is identified and picked out easily and quickly. As the data safe in the information storehouse is used in different kinds of management work, so it is also called the database management system or DBMS. Some essential database programs are Microsoft Access, FoxPro, DBase, FoxPress, Oracle, Fourth Dimension, Coral Paradox, etc. Now we are going to see how can we use MS Access to create a database and a table. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a database in Microsoft Access 2019. So now I click on the blank database. Then a pop up window comes. Here I have to give the name of the database. Now I write students database and select the folder where we want to save this. I am selecting desktop and access database folder and save it. Now I am I'm right now clicking on create. This is our new database that names that name is students database. Now first we want to create a table. Now we can see that by default MS Access has created a table that is table one. Now before starting let me discuss about the layout of MS Access. There are some tools in in the table table tools. Okay. Table tools, there are some tools. Now in the home tab we can see some ribbons. In this ribbons we we have different groups like um, here we have clipboard, short and, uh, sort and filter, records, find, text formatting. From this group we can edit or do some changes as a requirement. There are some groups as font records uh, also in there. Okay. Now, uh, now we are going to create the table. First, we move to this navigation pane. This, this one is called navigation pane and we can minimize it by clicking on this double arrow or we can click on it and we can see the full navigation pane. Under this navigation pane, there is a table that is table 1. Now, what is a table? Let us understand that first. Table is a place where we can enter the information of database that is if we want to enter any new entry we will enter this in the table 
tables have all the records which will be required for our access database. The columns, the columns are called fields and the rows are called records. Now if I want to create a table, we should go to view and under the view we, we should select design view tab. Now here we get a save as option that is we have to give the name of the table. Now we are giving the name as class 10 students. Okay, then click on OK. Now here we get the fields name and the data type. So, <clears throat> so now we are going to enter the fields name. Before that we have seen that there is a yellow key is shown on this place. This is called primary key. Now what is primary key? Primary key basically for unique records so that it does not duplicate anything. Basically every record will be having a unique ID, unique ID. By default this has taken ID and has automatically assigned a primary key. We can also change the primary key to other fields. That means we can give the primary key to other any other fields that means we can change this also now by default this uh, uh, this id has assigned as auto number okay this data type is assigned as auto number but if we write auto number then we cannot write anything uh, rather than the given numbers by this database so if we want to write anything as our id like our registration number then we have to change this to number now we can now we can write the next field now the next field is name so this is the name of the students Now I write in the next field name and select the data type as short text. Okay. In short text we can see that the field size is 255 that means we can write 255 characters. Now if we go to this long text then we can see there is no nothing is written that means we can write more than 255 that is it is uh, unlimited character we can write but we don't need this much big space that's why we select short text okay then we go to the next field okay we will write in the next field that is age okay so now the data type will be the number or we can write short text also but we can write number here. Next field we will write date of birth. Okay, this is the date of birth of the students. So here what will we use? We will select the data type as date and time. Look, this data tab is different than before. Now here you can see there is a format and in this format, if we click in this format, we get a drop down arrow. Okay, click any drop down arrow, we can select any format of date time. So if we want to write, I am selecting this medium date, that is first the day then the month and then the year okay okay i'm selecting this one that means when we write in the table we will 
follow this format. Next field I will write for this name. The father's name and selecting the data tab as short text. Okay, okay, it's short text. Next the, uh, field is address. Okay, and the I can also select short text here because short text means we can write numbers and any alphabet here. Okay, any kind of symbols and alphabet we can write in short text. Next one is city. Again, I select this short text in data type of city. Next, I will write zip code. Okay, what is zip code? This is actually we know as postal code. But here we write it as zip code because internationally this postal code is called zip code. So we can write zip code here and we can select short text or number anything we can select. Okay, I am selecting number. Now here in field size of data type number we have a long integer. What does it mean? If I click on it we again have this drop down list and here we say this integer long integer long in integer means what you know that long integer means a big number can be written here okay next one is phone number Sorry. phone number okay phone number and in phone number you can select number or short text Okay, I want to select short text because if we write number then we cannot start the number with 0 but we know that our phone numbers start with 0, the mobile phone number start with 0. Now I'm, I have selected all the data types of these fields. Now I am saving it, that means I am saving the tables. If we want to go to data sheet view then a message comes that you must first save the table. Do you want to save the table now? I am clicking on yes. Okay, the table has been saved. Now uh, we are going to start data entry. Now I write any number in this ID field. Okay, that means we can write the registration number or roll number of any students here. The first one is, okay, I want to write uh, 0951. I think it is the idea of a student. Now write the name. Maybe the name is Rakibul. Okay, the place is very less, that's why I can widen the field. Okay, I can easily widen the field by dragging it. Okay, now the age. Okay, at the now the age is the student age is 16. Okay, and then we will go to date of birth. Here we can see a small calendar. Okay, when we click on it, we see the calendars. Okay, that means today's date is given here and also the month and year. But the students the, whose age is 16, that means we have to go back may, 16 years back. That's why I can write differently. I am writing like 12 September 2003. Okay, when I go to the next field, then look, 
this change into the format that we have given in the data type. Okay. Now, I am writing father's name. The father's name is Muhammad Rafiqul Hassan. We can also, we can easily widen this space to fit the name in the field. Okay, now we are going to write in address. So, write any address, that means we can write a number or any other thing. Now, again we can fit this address to drag, dragging this field, okay. Now city, the city is Dhaka and the zip code is, what is the zip code of Mahmudpur? Maybe 1207 and the phone number of the student is plus and widen the field and selecting short text here that is 0171 ok now going to the next field like this we can give data entry the we can do the data entry of the next record 